What's happening, guys? It's Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. Just got back from a nice ride on this classic 1984 Goldwing. We've had a lot of wings come through here. If you look at our channel, you'll see literally dozens of them from custom resto mods to original ones like this. This is the nicest original 84 we've had in, bar none. It's got no miles on it, only 35,000 miles. These things are good for a quarter million miles easy, and it's been thoroughly gone through and well-maintained by the previous owner, who happens to be a uh, Purple Heart two-time Purple Heart recipient, Vietnam veteran, who has owned this bike for many years and maintained it beautifully. He's getting up there in years and he's got a collection of 17 bikes. Wanted to thin the herd a little bit, so he sold us this wing and she runs beautifully. It This is one of those rare occasions when we have a bike that actually rides and, and runs as good as it looks. I've got some literature in the trunk right here, including the title uh, for the bike. I guess we'll take a peek inside here, tons of storage. That's the beauty of a, of a gold wing. You want to ride this thing cross country. Uh, there goes the 78 wing right there. That one just went out the door. Um, the, these are much more advanced than the 78 wing. It's got a lot of features uh, I'll go over with you here in a second, but the main thing is it's got no miles on it and it runs beautifully. Alan Gifford has owned this bike for a while and he took beautiful care of it. He worked with Archie Cycles in Mass who did a bunch of work on it. He upgraded the lighting. I don't know if you could tell pulling up it's got a really super high-end LED uh, headlight on it and also these badass LED running lights on the side. So this thing's amazingly agile for a touring machine. It handles beautifully. It's This is designed for the open road. It's uh, comfort superlative. This is definitely, in 1984, this was the king of the road. There was nothing better than this. And it was fast. It does a 13.3 second quarter mile. The transmission shifts like butter. The clutch is perfect on it. It's carbureted excellent. And it has a top speed of 151 miles per hour, according to the magazines at the time. It's an 1182 cc, 94 horsepower, opposed boxer four stroke four cylinder with four uh, uh, horizontally opposed cylinders it's a single overhead cam two valve per cylinder this bike was way ahead of its time it's liquid cooled uh, boxer style motor with low compression nine to one it'll run forever we regularly see these bikes with well in excess of a quarter million miles on them is not out of the norm on a on a bike that's never had any maintenance done on the motor why they're maintenance free it has hydraulically hydraulically adjusted valves um, this 84 model had massive upgrades from the previous one. The fairing's much more uh, modern looking, much more integrated into the bike looking instead of the way the, the one on the, if you uh, arrow back here on the video to the, the 78 that just drove by, the, the fairings look like an afterthought on those. This is integrated in as are the, the, the huge saddlebags and the, the massive trunk pack on the bike. So it's maintenance free, hydraulic valve adjustment. As far as maintenance that's done, everything's been done. The oil's been cleaned on it. The carbs have been done. It's got uh, a newer battery in it. It's got newer tires on it. The brakes work beautifully, and it runs like a new bike. Um, Al always kept it plugged in on a tender and ran it regularly and uh, put Startron in the fuel and other uh, maintenance things that you need to do on a bike at least to keep it running forever. This is an 84, but it runs like a new bike. Um, again, it's a electronic ignition, electric start, 94 horsepower, 13.3 second. 150 mile per hour top speed with a five speed tra overdrive transmission. So, and I've got the clean title to it right here. Um, so no problems getting it registered. Uh, everything's good. This is this is what I call no excuses bike. The only issue I found on the bike is not really an issue. It ha doesn't have the antenna for it. He upgraded the stereo to a Sony and the antenna um, unscrewed and fell off when he was riding it. We ordered an, an antenna for it uh, for 15 bucks and uh, the parts guy ordered the antenna that, that connected to the back right here. Shane ordered this one. Um, which is uh, comes with it, but we don't have the right the, the, this one here. This is like a you know five or ten dollar antenna, and it's got an upgraded Sony uh, stereo, which is awesome with the LED clock in it. So um, take a look at the badges on it. The, it's a Goldwing uh, GL1200. Um, they originally started as an 1100. This was the big bore 1196, and uh, it's just a fantastic bike. So. It's it's amazingly agile and light for such a big machine. And let me take it on a little take you on a little ride with me so I can um, just share with you the experience of riding a bike this comfortable. You buy a bike like this, you can sell your house and move into it. All you need is a pup tent and a heated blanket that you plug into this right here, and you can sleep next to this thing and save a ton on taxes. Just you can live in this thing. Matter of fact, sell the kids, divorce the wife, set sail. 20 years from now, the only thing you regret is not having fun and doing your thing. So I say buy this bike and head cross country without a care in the world. You know what? It's not like buying a new one where you're gonna spend 20 plus thousand dollars. You buy this thing, a low entry price, and go have a ball on it. And tell everybody, it's time to do me. I'm gonna go have some fun. 
You know, really, I mean, look yourself in the mirror. When's the last time you did something fun like that, like a trip to Florida or Daytona? This could be your last chance. This could be the freedom machine, the king of the road to take you to the next adventure of your life. So go for it, man. Do it. About to take a rip on this gold wing, and uh, Alan has this remove before a flight thing on there, which um, you'd be surprised with 94 horsepower and a uh, well, you can go the ton all day long on this thing with this big comfy saddle, which is in mint shape, and your your wife's going to be super comfortable on the back. If she wants to come with you when you sell the house, have her hop on the back. There's enough room for both of you to move in. And uh, this is the ultimate, ultimate long-distance tourer, and, you know, it's a pretty sporty ride. Fires right up every time, and this is one smooth running wing. The gauges are beautiful and, and uh, nice and clear. There's no degradation of the quality or scratches on the uh, on the um, gauges. It has a speedometer, tachometer, temperature gauge, fuel gauge, turn signals, uh, overdrive. It has an overdrive light when you put it in fifth gear. The neutral light, high beam, all of the idiot lights work. All the turn signals work. Um, the, uh, the light is that super bright LED. I'll show you that in a second. The mirrors are perfect. They don't vibrate. Um, he also Al, upgraded the windshield, which I really like a lot. One of my pet peeves about the big touring bikes is I don't want to look through glass like I'm in the car. And this comes to right about my nose height or a uh, little below my nose so I can look over the shield. So my vis vision, vision is 100%. And you get the benefit of the windshield because it blows the wind right up over your head. Huge Kenworth coming up behind me here with the Jake brake. So most of the gold wings from this era that that I rode either the brakes weren't were worn out or the um, This is in beautiful shape the master cylinder looks like it's brand new I'm pretty sure that was replaced. I know he rebuilt the brakes at some point. They've definitely been done Usually there's some excuses on the way it runs either they're carb not carbureted right or Something's not right. Well, this one is one of those rare classics that runs better than it looks Always well, just to say perfect is it starts beautifully it runs excellent if you're looking for a bike to use as daily transportation to and from work these get well over 50 miles of the gallon they're very fuel efficient comfortable and they're kind of an all-season bike because you can you can put your um, heated plug your heated glove and vest in and you're good to go And put a couple gallons of gas in here so we don't run out this weekend we're having the racers reunion at the museum if you haven't heard about that stay tuned that's gonna be a lot of fun but don't can't show you my pin um, somebody told me that people could steal your credit card number if they saw it and saw your pin so but in any event um, the racers reunion we're inducting uh, looks like Doug Henry Jojo Keller and one other person are going to get inducted into the New England Hall of Fame. Look at the glove box in there. Nice storage for your gloves. So if you want to come down this weekend from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock at the museum, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're having a big party. 93 octane. Super premium is what I like to run in these wings. It's a, it's a 9.9 to 1 compression motor. So it'll run on the low test, but I always figure give it the best. So we'll take her for a little ride and uh, show you how she handles. Put a couple gallons of gas in there. I looked inside the gas tank. The bottom of the tank is nice and clean. Uh, there's no rust inside the tank. That's one of the first things I, I check on a classic bike. I didn't expect to see any rust because of the way Al took care of all his bikes. Al, again, I, I mentioned earlier, he's a two-time Purple Heart recipient, uh, multi-time, uh, multi-tours in Vietnam, legit American patriot, badass. This was his bike. This was his cruising bike. He's got hot rod uh, Kawasaki's, and he actually raced, did, did road racing, too. So he had road racing bikes, and we bought seven bikes from him. But uh, this was the one he took when he was going out for the long haul.
just super smooth. Of course, we're behind a dump truck here. Fuel gauge works beautifully. All the gauges, everything works beautifully on the bike. Dunlop tires handle beautifully. Roads are a little slippery, so I'm not gonna push my luck, but with the triple disc brakes, she'll haul down from speed in short order. And once you put her in overdrive, wow, what a smooth. We, we've gone through a bunch of the wings here. I've had Mark Olson tune them. This is definitely the nicest running one I've been on. The nicest running 1200 I, I've had the chance to swing a leg over. And the nicest handle, and it handles beautifully. You would expect that, it, you know, with 35,000 miles, it would, but the, the key is with these goal wings is the carbs have to be clean, the pilot jets have to be clean, the fuel system has to be free of uh, um, bad gas, and in this one, Al took really good care of it. He always kept fresh gas in it, as did the previous owner, and it's carbureted perfectly. Good luck finding a nicer running one. This one just runs beautifully. 65 miles an hour, it's like butter. This is, this is a bike that's designed to go 80, 100 miles an hour all day long. Take it up to Maricade, ride it from Connecticut down to Bike Week, um, go up to Laconia, wherever you want to go. It uh, really starts feeling comfortable at around 75, 80. The wind blows right past your legs and your feet and uh, over your head, so. Full body protection with the fairing and your passenger is gonna be super comfortable. Plenty of storage space, so if you want to go on a long ride in the summertime and it's hot during the day, you can strip down to your tank top, throw your helmet. Both helmets will fit in the top box, your jackets, everything. And then when it gets cold out at night, you can put your helmet and goggles, gloves on and uh, your leather jacket, plug in your heated vest, and go. You know, this, this is a bike. This is a bike you could use as a daily rider. Kenny, that's one of our detail guys, Ken. I don't know where he's going. Maybe I'll pick him up, give him a ride. He works at TSI Harley Davidson, um, detailing motorcycles, and works part time with us too. We call him old school. He's really, Kenny, he's really into uh, the mostly vintage Harleys. His, his pops has got an iron head and a shovel head. And he really likes working on the old bikes, but he works with us about 20 hours a week, usually a day or two a week. I'm gonna turn around now. I, I usually don't, I mean, I, I could keep going on this thing uh, all day, literally, but uh, we have 11 bikes to test today, so stay tuned. I got some really cool videos coming out of some awesome street bikes and, and dirt bikes. This thing hauls ass. Wow, the rear wheel broke loose when it hit second gear. Wow, right up to 7,000 RPM. Yep, that's the real deal. Wow. Almost 80 miles an hour in third gear. This, this thing's fast. Wow. Absolutely the best riding one I've been on. You need a ride? I figured I'd ask him if he needs a ride. just for an afternoon walk. What a smooth riding bike, wow. It's in overdrive right now, we're doing 3,000 RPM at 60 miles an hour. Now, this thing redlines at 7,500. This thing's designed to do the ton all day long. You get on the interstate out west and you wanna hammer down to Sturgis, you're not gonna find a better bike than this. And this one's ready to go. It, it doesn't need anything.
Uh, I would put the antenna back on it so you can crank up the Sony stereo and listen to some Leonard Skinner or whatever your favorite favorite tunes are on your way out west or down south of Daytona. This bike's designed for the open road and it's ready to go. Lots of accessories available on the uh, aftermarket for these if you wanted to add pretty much anything to the going. There's a million companies that make really cool accessories and upgraded stereos and GPS and heated seats and on, on, so on and so forth. Custom exhausts. This is the original exhaust on this one and it works beautifully. It sounds great. But you can do all kinds of cool stuff with these bikes. It definitely doesn't need any, horse, any more horsepower. It's pushing almost 100 horse. Um, if I had more time, I'd take it out on the highway and do a little cross-state jaunt here, but we're really busy at work now. I've got the racers reunion coming up on Saturday from 1 to 4. we got to get ready for that. And uh, right now we have about 30 motorcycles in the shop being uh, either restored or preservation services, getting them ready for uh, another 40 years of, of life. This is a bike when you get out on the highway, you're not gonna get blown off the road by, by uh, tractor trailers. This is a heavy bike, yet it feels light and nimble around town. The 84 frame, this frame, they, had, they made a bunch of changes to this frame to make it more agile with the uh, steering geometry and the rake and trail and everything. Um, and they hit the nail on the head. This is one of those situations where without spending a fortune on this bike, you're gonna get nine tenths of the performance that you are on a, on a new $15,000, $20,000 bike. And guess what? This one's going up in value. This is a classic, it's a 1984. Um, you can buy antique plates. Your insurance and taxes will be basically free on, a, as a classic and beautiful riding bike, beautiful mirrors, windshield, the grips are beautiful, everything. Levers, it's just ready to go. Good luck finding a nicer 84 wing. If you've been looking for one, something you can get on and ride cross country or you're looking for a bike for a daily rider and you don't want to leave your new $21,000 one outside at work where it might get vandalized or stolen or whatever. Here's a low, low investment. In a bike that's, when I say investment, it, it is an investment, it's going up in value, unlike you know, you buy a new bike, as soon as you, as soon as you roll a new bike off the lot, you're going to... Moses, what, how come the floor is so slippery? What? The floor feels like soap on the floor. I almost crashed. Why is it so slippery? Because I'm washing the floor. Oh, can you get the soap off it before I crash and kill myself? Oh, no, soap? Yeah. It's like a skating rink in here. Well, Kenny... She runs as good as she looks. I had it up to 7,000 RPM in third gear. And it was doing about 80 miles an hour. Definitely a bike that will go the ton all day long. Smoothest, smoothest four-cylinder GL 1200 I've ridden yet. The carbs must be synchronized perfectly. Hey, guys. John Greer's here with his son. What's up? You being shy? You being shy? Being shy today. He wanted to go to the museum. <laughs> That's awesome. How you boys doing today? Good. Just got got look at these look at the um running lights on this thing, man. You can't even stare into them, they're so bright. Windshield's in beautiful shape, front fender's nice. Everything works beautiful on this bike, as you'd expect it to. Look at the high beam on this thing. Man, I got I gotta shield my eyes from it. It is so bright. At nighttime, this is the bike you want to be taking cross out in the country where there's deer and stuff. Man, this thing lights up the road like there's, like it's on fire. Do you see the lights on this thing, Kenny? I'm seeing stars after looking into them. Beautiful big running pack here. Got the title in here. If you have any questions about the bike, give us a call, 860-454-7024. There's a ton of forums on the Goldwing out there if you want to do some research on these. Um, they're awesome bikes. Turn signals in the saddlebag. All the running lights look nice. The Goldwing logo looks beautiful. The tail light, the um, 
The uh, all the tail lights work beautifully. It even has the license plate light. Um, so a lot of light on the back, which means you're going to be safe while you're um, riding on the road. Everybody's going to see you. And uh, at the front, it's basically blinding. That's how, that's how bright the lights are. They're blinding. Well, remove before flight. There it is. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on this classic 84 wing that's ready to rumble cross-country, fly in the Bradley, and fly at home. Good luck bidding, and God bless America.